At the eleventh hour, on the eleventh day, in the eleventh month of the year 1918, World War I came to an end. President Woodrow Wilson declared that day to be Armistice Day, a day to be filled with solemn pride in and honor for those who served. In 1954, the name was changed to Veterans Day. It is a day when we honor all veterans and pay homage to those who died for us. President Wilson was the man who told us that World War I was the war to end all wars. How naive of we Americans to believe that this war would end all wars when the Bible, God's Word, tells us that there will always be wars and rumors of wars. Ecclesiastes 3.8 declares, There is a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. In a world filled with sin, hatred, and evil, Romans 3.10 says, War is inevitable. 1 Peter 2.17 tells us the most important thing we can do in times of war is to be praying for godly wisdom for our leaders, praying for the safety of our military, and praying for a quick resolution to conflicts. On Veterans Day across America and around the world, Americans will pause to pay homage to the brave soldiers who for more than 241 years have stood guard over this great nation, protecting our freedoms with honor and selfless service. Wherever duty sends them, each American soldier leaves something of himself and something of America behind. Some leave it all behind and are buried in foreign lands beneath foreign soil. November 11th is the day each year that we Americans recognize the contributions of each veteran for defending the freedoms we so enjoy. We thank God for blessing us with those who go forth to do battle in our name, knowing as it says in John 15:13 that greater love has no one than this, that a man will lay down his life for his friends. We thank God for their willing sacrifice and the sacrifices of the families left behind, the widows, the children, the mothers, the fathers. We ask God for the courage to stand, care for, and protect those warriors who all too often come home wounded, crippled, and maimed. We ask for both wisdom and courage in defending our freedoms so nobly fought for and won. Freedom, as Ronald Reagan said, is never more than one generation away from extinction. As we reflect upon our nation today, we ask our Heavenly Father to let us never forget the blessings of our liberty, to give us courage to be faithful stewards of the freedoms we have been granted, and to be worthy recipients of our warriors' blood sacrifices. The eternal debt we owe is staggering. To the many who have stood fought, bled, and died, I can say it no better than Abraham Lincoln did at Gettysburg. He said, in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled for us have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. They made their sacrifices to assure the well-being of this nation, they did it for us, for we the living, and for generations yet to come. They did it so that you can live free. Let us be humble before this great offering of those who suffered and sacrificed for the glory of God and the freedoms of Americans. For those who have stood guard in peacetime and in war, for those who have known the fear, horror, pain, and blood of combat, for those who have paid the ultimate price, we have a simple yet profound and heartfelt message. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.